Hydroponics, a revolutionary gardening method, bypasses traditional soil use, opting instead for nutrient-rich water solutions to grow plants. There are six common systems we'll discuss. Wick, deep water culture, ebb and flow, drip, nutrient film technique, and aeroponic systems. Each system has unique benefits and applications, from simple setups for beginners to more complex systems for commercial scale. Let's delve into the specifics of each system, starting with the simplest. Beginning with the wick systems, we find the epitome of simplicity in hydroponics. Ideal for beginners or settings without reliable electricity, this system uses capillary action to draw nutrients up to the plant's roots. It's a passive system, meaning it operates without mechanical parts like pumps. Despite its simplicity, wick systems have limitations, such as their suitability mainly for smaller plants and herbs, due to the limited nutrient delivery capacity. Next, we have deep water culture systems, including the Cracky method, a simplified version of deep water culture. Both immerse plant roots directly in nutrient solutions, but while deep water culture requires aeration, the Cracky method does not, simplifying setup and maintenance. These systems are celebrated for their low maintenance and rapid plant growth, but require vigilance against root rot. Moving to ebb and flow systems, we find a method that mimics natural tidal cycles, flooding plant roots with nutrients before draining. This method supports a wide variety of plants, including root vegetables, by allowing periods of oxygen intake between waterings. However, it demands precise timing and monitoring to prevent issues like root rot or drying out. Nutrient film technique systems represent a setup in complexity, utilizing a continuous flow of nutrient solution over the plant roots. This method is scalable and efficient but requires careful management to prevent root tangling and ensure even nutrient distribution. Drip systems, often used in commercial settings, offer versatility and control over nutrient delivery to individual plants. With options for recirculating or non-recirculating setups, these systems can support a wide range of plant sizes and types. Finally, aeroponic systems, the most technologically advanced option, suspends roots in air, misting them with nutrient solution. This method promotes fast growth and efficient water use, but requires more setup and maintenance. Selecting the right hydroponic system depends on a variety of factors, including your experience level, space, budget, and the types of plants you wish to grow. We've outlined the strength and application of each system to help you make an informed decision tailored to your gardening goals. And for more info on each of these systems, we have a separate video for each on the channel. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. Also, click the link on screen now to access free hydroponics courses and join our growers community. If you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics.